way that evidence can possibly The evidence? It exists. What do you say? If Mr. Can King has murdered the victim... What do you say, pal? Traces of the murder <laughs> should still remain here. The gunpowder residue should be on the bouquet. That's true. Oh my god. It's not the bouquet. Oh. Mm. I, I was about Never to say mind. the lion because, like, again, crushed flowers, fingerprints of uh, him using the balloon. Look at the, bu bu uh, the bucket himself. Itself. The rope, maybe? The rope that was used to tie K? Who is tied with a rope? Kinky. <laughs> Wait, there was a character that said, Ah, oh, okay, said it. If there's something with ropes, leave it to me. Oh no. Yeah. I remember her saying that. <gasps> yeah. What? John was tied up with rope. No, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey, was the one. It was Sebastian that was tied up with Sebastian. ropes. Sebastian. And she was oh. like, Oh, I can help. Yeah, yeah, it was Sebastian. Mean where? Bottom of the balloon, I guess. He's gonna have forensics like tested or something. Yeah. yeah. If he was crushed by the the hot air balloon, then. Oh, they can do that. Wait, no, there was no blood in his body either. Yeah, because but... he was crushed. He wasn't. Yeah, there could be some lilac on it. No, not lilac. Lilies on it. Yeah. Let's see. This won't damage us as much as the other one, so. Yeah. yeah. Take that. It should become clear once we examine the basket of this balloon. Nice one! <laughs> the balloon again! Didn't you already find the portal? There's no way you'll find anything else there. <laughs> That's... It, it'll be fine, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth is a hero who always finds the truth no matter what he's up against. That's right, Belle! Of course, it's gonna be fine! Mr. Edgeworth has gotten out of impossible situations, then I could count. Uh... Miles, I believe in you too. But more importantly, I'm sure your old man watching over you believes in you as well. Father! Miles Edgeworth, calm down and think! You're just one step away from the perfect proof! The body double was killed by this balloon. The proof lies in the traces left on the basket. Simon Keyes, it's time for you to atone for your crimes. I'll see it with my own eyes. The moment this past case is settled once and for all, Please, prosecute Redworth. Deliver the final blow to this unforgivable person. This is the final piece of evidence that proves your crimes. What choices were left on the balloon that crushed the victim? The flowers. The flowers. The, flowers. the fire. Ah, ah, ah. The fire. <laughs> the fire. <laughs> shoes. It was the shoes. It was the shoes. Stinky shoes. It was the button. <laughs> someone it so, was someone the gave Miss Alta to smell the basket. <laughs> it was the button. The button. <laughs> Present. Alright. Take, Take that! And Sha was right for the what million time? I, I can hear you. Louder. <laughs> we don't know. We kind of <laughs> lost count. We lost count a long time ago. <laughs> When John found the body, a bouquet of lion lilies was was there as well. Oh god, the music's getting intense. Ling Lang. Like you like you like you. Okay. The music's so intense, I love this. Lion lilies, the flowers from Zhang Fa that represented the bond between parent and child. That's your evidence? Surely, they must be buried under a mountain of garbage by now. Moreover, the one who threw away was John himself. That's not much of a bond, is it? 
Alright. That language of flowers stuff has nothing to do with this! Calm down, John. Certainly you may have thrown the flowers away. However, I believe those emotions remain as strong as ever. <laughs> those bonds will surely protect you from that man in the form of my final piece of evidence. What the heck are you talking about? Those flowers were crushed. Ergo, they must have come into contact with the murder weapon. Perhaps we'll find the very same pollen still stuck to the basket of your balloon. No, wait, 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 wait! You guys examined the basket just a few moments ago. If there had been any yellow pollen stuck there, wouldn't you have noticed it then? Objection! <laughs> Mr. Keyes, evidence is not restricted to what you can see with the naked eye. Who's what? naked? Emma! No, no, not her. What? <laughs> y yes, y yes? Would you perform one more scientific investigation for us? Leave it to me! The balance basket, right? Huh! A reaction! What did she use? Your mom! Uh, this is clearly pollen from the yellow flower! We'll find out soon enough whenever it's... Whatever or not, it's from the same flower! Are they just not gonna explain that? No! What? She's a science nerd. <laughs> <laughs> science, bitch. I'd say this proves that the body double's death was caused directly by your own hand. Alright, Daniel, keep put your, put the zinger in your pocket. It's almost time. No way! That can't be! Uh, the final blow. The quote. Oh. You crushed the body double to death on the on the roof of the tower. Then, you retrieved the body and hid it in the warehouse. Why? Did he have to go to the trouble of retrieving the body? Two nights ago, he knew that a separate incident would occur at the tower. Ah, Miss Cranes? Precisely. Leaving the body there would have disrupted his plans. I see. But even so, he couldn't leave the body in the circus warehouse either. Exactly. So the next day, when he was bringing the body back to the tower once again, he saw the small fire John started, which caused the Mozilla's head to fall. Was that when the idea came to you? Your plan to pin the crime on John? No! <laughs> You made it look really like the murder weapon has fallen in the head! Such fool! Cowardly behavior! For that reason, you carried the double's body in the balloon and lowered it into the film lot. At that time, the figure of the body double being lowered down by a rope was captured in John's video recording. Oh. Damn! I, it was all... You saw through it! Through it all! D damn it! Damn you! You manipulated animals, you manipulated people, and you manipulated cases! Almost as if you were a king. However, it's now all come to an end. Simon! The animals have gotten angry! Even mummies and us, you! A stick! Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You never thought of them as your friends at all? How sad! No! no. Ah, damn it! Don't look at me with those eyes! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's about time you went back to being a mere clown. But even then, you are not a clown, Mr. Keys. You are the entire circus! He's done it! A fitting end to your pitiful gestures act. Sarah, get away! Get away from me! Stop it! Please! Stop it! Yo, yo, daddy! Wait to help me! I'm scared! I'm so scared! I don't know anything! I didn't do anything bad! They were bad ones, weren't they? Oh, Boris, why? Why did you stop me? If he hadn't done that, I... 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 
don't even trust the police. Nobody could help me. Oh. But that man, back then he saved me. I'm the only one who helped me. No one helped me. It was Tony. So I used everyone else. What's wrong with that? Oh, something. No, don't come any closer. Stop it. No. Oh. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. It seems the game is falling. Oh no, that's okay. No, it is. Yeah, you were right. right. <laughs> Wait, it seems the game is falling over. Shelly the killer. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, five eyes, thank you. You have exposed the true identity of the mastermind. No, I am free to sell ice cream. Yes. What? What? Throwing a gun would be most invisible. Uh, inevitable. Stay where you are and do not move! No, I, I, I don't have a gun. <laughs> you, do not, you do have a gun, do you not? You intended to draw and fire it without anyone noticing. He must have taken it from the body double when he killed him. <laughs> this may have betrayed a bond of trust with me! He would have me killed! Kill the president when knowing full well he was the dummy body double. Lying about a target is extremely dangerous thing to do to an assassin. Not having all the cards on the table seriously je uh, can jeopardize an assassin. Oh. However, what, he, what is even more unforgivable is your deceit, your attempt to manipulate. Me! The time has come for your retribution. Stop! <laughs> oh! What? What the oh. Fuck? oh my you god! Are... It has been far too long, Shelly. Holy shit! Please step aside. That man is my prey. I must ask you to spare his life. Please permit this young acolyte to receive his proper punishment. He's the acolyte. He's the acolyte. Uh, and if I refuse, no, that's you. <laughs> um, and if I refuse, this is the first life I've saved. I'm not allowed to be taken away so easily. You saved a life. The assassin, Sherhan Dogen. <laughs> Ironic, is it not? And I, the one who was taking countless lives and making a plea for this young one's life. He saved my life just as I have saved his. Before I knew it, I grew quite fond of the lad. You may laugh at me as much as you wish. However, I must ask that you spare the life of the boy. From one assassin to another, please make this allowance. Hmm. I understand. If you are willing to go that far... You have my thanks. I'm in your debt. Hmm. No need for thanks. I simply felt there was there would be no merit in the fight for death of you. That is all. Damn. And with that, I must take my leave. <laughs> Damn it! Wait. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, I must thank you as well. It was necessary for this young acolyte to be put in this place. And then, and then you're done. Now then, it's time for me to return to my humble cage, surrounded by iron bars. Right, Anubis? Right, boy. Oh, look who's here. It's... Hey. Priest guy. You killed my dad, right? Indeed. I am not one to forget those I have slain. <laughs> I see. You must despise me, boy, with horns. In that case. 
John! Do not panic. I simply let the boy with horns my knife. Take that knife and run it through my throat. Oh my god. A single stab should do it. I've long grown weary of my wooden carp cravings. Carvings. Bench. <laughs> J John! Don't do it! John, please, I beg of you! He'll just know I'd intended to seek revenge, no matter how many years it took. Revenge, revenge is really, really good. All that pain and suffering slips away, everything becomes numb, and you feel nothing. Yeah, you may be right. I thought about that while I listened. What you had to say. John! But the only one who would be satisfied with revenge would be myself, right? If I became a murderer, my mom would go through even more pain and suffering. My friends from the movie too, and all those people who care about me as well. <laughs> the boy with the horns says some interesting things. That's right, I finally get it now. I'll never forgive you, but I'm not the one who should punish you. After all, isn't that what my mom and that prosecutor guy are here for? It's their job, no mine. John! You just said some really profound stuff just now! Okay, perhaps you should study up a little more yourself. <laughs> is that so? Well then, young one, it is time for us. Oh, where'd you, where'd you? The prison, of course. The place will be our home. Or our home! The new warden, I really hope they don't live in the lap of luxury again. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda sucks. Siran Dogen was more of a father to Simon than his own dad ever was. Aww. I'm glad he actually had game. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Even though that, that, guy that happens a, a lot assassin. in this game. Yeah. It's like Edgeworth with uh, the best. Mm -hmm. Projecting. Riders. Projecting. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh, no. So that's why everybody has father issues. <laughs> and with that, the case that involved and affected so many people came to a close. However, there was still one last thing that I had to do. I'll be right back. My computer is about to die. That, this is a bad time to be but okay. I have to, I can cover. Oh, oh, it shouldn't I, take I, I, a very long. I thought it was just Courtney. Never mind. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! Sorry to keep you waiting. Why'd you call Uncle Ray and the rest of us out here? Hmm. We can wait. I'll just wait here. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth! The formal prosecution just have come to a close. A proceedings, sorry. Ugh. <sighs> what are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. This is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. I am no longer a prosecutor. Duh, duh, duh. Shockers. <laughs> In order to save me when I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, The only ally a defendant has is an attorney. By trusting your client, an attorney draws closer to the truth. The sight of that man still shines brilliantly in my eyes. <laughs> Who you were? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. Oh, I can be denied.
What happened to Shaw? Gregory. What happened to Shaw? What happened to Shaw? She's not here. Shawshank Redemption. However, this is nothing more than that man and my father's way of life. Okay, she's coming back. She's on her phone. Okay. It is not mine. Mr. Edgeworth. I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm back. I see. So you've made your decision. I'm sorry. No, no. I understand. That's your answer, isn't it? It is. Okay, then that's the end of this conversation. Don't regret it. Even if you beg me later, I won't let you work for me ever again. I... What, what happened? What happened? I got kicked. Okay. Um, Edgeworth has decided to become a prosecutor. Just or remain a or prosecutor. Or just remain a prosecutor. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna say he's gonna work under him. So I thought he's gonna become an attorney. Nah. Oh well. No, he was he saying the offer. even if you beg me, I wouldn't let you do it ever again. Oh, okay. Never. Okay. Ever. I, I understand. <laughs> but you know, Miles and Rain. Rain. <laughs> But you know, Miles, mind if I ask why you chose to live as a prosecutor? Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney, I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How should I live my life? And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. Simple. I'm sorry, the music, so the music is so much like someone. The music is so much like someone. He too was a victim. The the music in this game reminds me so much of Sailor Moon. It's like making me emotional. Really? Oh. Yeah, Sailor Moon is like my cry to music. He lost a parent in a past murder, and with it, the ability to believe in anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you and being unable to believe in anything. I doubted everything during my lonely battles in those days. Is this is the old music? Oh my god. It is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. The one who saved me was. Objection! <laughs> Mr. Keyes must have been all alone. Unable to find salvation from the law, he had no choice but to turn his hand to revenge. And I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police. No way, no way, no way! As long as police are around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Actually, didn't think some, didn't something like that ha almost happened today during Patricia's trial. I want to save those like Simon Kears. So, how would you save him? I'm sure this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have relied on the courts. But instead, he was cornered by Blaise the Best, who used the power of law for evil. The form of the law can change depending on who wields it. It can be once a shield to protect, and a blade to harm. That too, is a contradiction of the law. A contradiction, huh? That's true. 
It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. The only way to right those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved Simon Keyes was not an attorney, but rather a watchman of the law, a prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. I see. That's just like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't be just a walk in the park. You'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? I do. However, someone must. Yep, yep. Uncle Ray believes in you too. The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're Gregory's son. Your old man would never give up, no matter what. His eyes always saw only what laid straight ahead. Miles. When you choose to live as a prosecutor, your eyes look just like your father's. Looks like you've grown up a bit. I really wish your old man could see you right now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. I, Justin Courtney, as a member of the PIC, do hereby return to Miles Edgeworth the rights and privilege of a prosecutor in the name of the goddess of law. Hey! Yeah! Now that prosecutor Edgeworth is revived! That's great, sir! So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, it's time for Uncle Ray to make his exit. I have to report to your old man uh, all about the traitor and the Edgeworth family. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Truly. The next time we meet, just might be in the courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. Hmm. Uncle Ray might, might not look it, but he's an ace attorney after all. I look forward to seeing the attorney my father trained in action. Take care. Peace! <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, welcome back! Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me? You sought to fix the corruption within the PIC from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not, for I was never alone. Because the goddess of law is always by your side. <laughs> right? You made me realize that one could fight in such a way. The prosecutor's office. No, the entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, there is a truth that will never see the light of day. It was only through your help that I was able to find this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I do find that promising is one of the services of the goddess of law. You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameless act during the trial two days ago. Next time, I shall fulfill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor, I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, the greatest judge I know is one overflowing with humanity. Even during a trial, that judge experiences happiness, anger, sadness, and joy, but nevertheless always hands down to the correct verdict in the end. What do you mean? <coughs> <laughs> it's difficult to say, but sometimes I feel that 
perfection is not always correct. So, a judge too has the right to behave in such a manner. Thank you very much. Prosecutor Edgeworth, when I pursued and thought against Blaze the best, the goddess of law was not the only one by my side. Oh. Oh, it's John! When I have the cod out with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up inside of me. No matter how painful things become, no matter how strong the foe, when I remember that I am not alone, I'm able to keep moving forward. Wrongs might be right, but for John's sake as well? John too lost his father in a past crime. That is more important to me than even the words of the Goddess of Law. <laughs> Though I'm sure the Goddess would be angered by those words. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I don't have to be perfect. I just want to grow a little by little. Both as a judge and as a mother. That is how I feel. It seems there is so much each of us have yet to learn. Agreed. We still, we are still but children before the world. <laughs> Let us grow in our respective paths until we meet again. So as we're probably becoming a mother. Anyway, I shall look forward to our reunion. <laughs> reunion. <laughs> May the blessing of the goddess of law be upon you as you follow your, your new path of motherhood. Goodbye now. Oh god, I thought something happened. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I w oh, so that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely reach the truth waiting at the end of this path. No matter how difficult the path may be, if any seek to stop me on my path, they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be, I will shout just one word. OBJECTION! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's it? <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 longest wait, wait, wait. game in the fucking franchise. But here we are. This is like, th Daniel, this is three times as long as the first game. That's really? Oh my god. Go, 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 go. What sort of scoop are you aiming for next? Hey, and y'all, a journalist, there ain't nothing more important than information. You might be a my apprentice, but you're my, in my business rival. I ain't gonna tell you everything. That's my mentor, all right. I reckon you're even more prepared than me. I understand. I'll get my information using my own two feet. Yeah, that's the spirit. By the way, what you mind asking? Uh, what sort of scoop you're in for next? Huh? Ch Chief? <laughs> hey, don't need to be stingy. I'm your mentor, after all. That's just heinous. <laughs> Water. Water. Lord ahead. Lord ahead. As you say. What the hey. heck? Hey! <laughs> uh, what the? He did the objection oh, point thing. Did you see Kay, like, punch in the air? I only saw him the objection point. First, it seems that the wound in my left arm has yet to be healed. The bodyguard who infected the wound upon me. He is the name I will never forget. No, no then. Shall I return to being a simple ice cream, ice cream seller? Or perhaps this time I should try being a creep salmon instead. Crap, oh. For now, I should live as a calm life until my services are required again. I really like how Shelly is written. <laughs> yes, I love I this do. character. <laughs> <laughs> He's the definition I'm of chaotic neutral. Oh, bird. It's you, Daniel. Oh, that's you. What? Oh, I'm gonna give to Hunnix again. I want to live. Hey, now, Ryan, rookie. That going down at my next display feels so nice. I did not know to get working out. <laughs> God, it was me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you inquiring into my studies to become a pet groomer? I'm working as hard as ever. I spend every day covered in mud. 
Perhaps this suits my true nature far better than the life of a newspaper salesman. Once I leave the prison, I hope to earn an honest wage as a pet trimmer. Huh? My sentence has been extended because I sent was Warren's, Warren Rowland's accomplice. <laughs> Why do you think I'd be giving it a rat as about stupid animals to help the to hell with the pet trimmer's license? Damn it! <laughs> that day, poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A quick change. Poor guy. Mm -hmm. oh. Bomb, bomb. Oh, hey. Regina was really shocked by the trivial assignment too. I mean, I trusted him as my subordinate. But there's no use fighting over it. The show must go on. I have to do my best so that I won't lose the magic for a roll on the division. I'll put the greatest performance ever! What do we win with a in the case? <laughs> <laughs> She's honestly one of my favorite voices to do. I can imagine. She's very fun. This music's awesome. Yeah. Ah. It's me. It's me. Acolyte. <laughs> it seems <laughs> I've grown soft in my old age. Right, Minibus? Right, boy? <laughs> I think the life I saved on whim eight years ago would drive me to such lengths. Thanks to that, I am confined to my humble cell once more. Humble? Well, this time, that child is here as well. Perhaps it won't be such a bore, right, boy? Humble my ass. Just Your cell is better than my room. Yes! Oh. Yes! <gasps> yes! Be prepared! Be prepared! <laughs> Oh. Masters! Oh, it's you. Master, 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 master! It is deserved. Not gently melting moment of alert. I will wait for you forever. I shall come here every day just as you and Raymond did for me. Monsieur Shin, prosecutor and twelve, I'm truly grateful for them. I cannot believe I am able to eat your desserts once again, Monsieur Master. Oh, oh, I have been allowed to distribute my treats in both the detention center and the prison. For the past 18 years, I have brought joy to one and all with my delicious sweets. Why is it still uh, in prison? Uh, she, she, uh, poisoned the guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's in prison. <gasps> Mochi. Ah. Yo. See, thanks for everything, boys. Of course, <laughs> I owe Greggy my thanks too. After all, I get to stuff myself with Jeffy's delicious desserts once again. <laughs> Oi, next time maybe I'll use one of Jeffy's sweets to create a new drug. <laughs> the tuck-in diet. You'll tuck in your stomach while you tuck in desserts. <laughs> It'll be delicious and slimming and also good for your health. <laughs> <laughs> she does drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, Larry! Fuck, I forgot about him. <laughs> Me! I'm glad I got to meet this guy so many beauties! But, uh, maybe he caught a glimpse of my uh, beauty sketch. Uh, she has a misunderstanding. I dropped me in the face with my sketchbook. There's so many things from my sketch to beauties! I had one beauty walk out on me! <laughs> maybe it's time for me to start getting more serious about my life. Really? Nah. Do I take the path of an artist, or do I follow the path of my heart? Oh, and by heart, I mean the heart of my new lady! Oh no. <laughs> Not another one. It's fucking Larry. <laughs> when is Larry gonna get his shit together? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my <gasps> god. Uh, Mr. Bad, thanks for all your help today. Uh, I'll testify about the IS-7 incident as much as you need me to. Rescue Edgeworth seems pretty active too. He chose not to take the same path as Gregory, but rather to live as a prosecutor. Well, I am kind of sad that I won't get to work with him, but I'll continue to watch over him. <laughs> it looks like you've grown up quite a bit yourself. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mr. Bat actually praised me. <laughs> if you ever need a hand from a t an attorney, Raymond Shield, give me a call anytime, any place. Wait, what the I, fuck I to the Joker? I, I thought he was in prison for he being was. the other Grasso. He is in prison, he just gets to testify, I guess. <laughs> he can still testify. Yo. Granny. 
My crimes were punished far more leniently than I expected. <laughs> Once it was proven. Oh. Ouch! Granny! <laughs> no crime is more heavy or light than any other. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, I regret what I did. However, I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Granny. Huh? You want to hurry back to work? <laughs> That's right. The next corpse is waiting for us, after all. Oh my god! <laughs> what oh my the god. hell? <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Bad player. <sighs> I'm glad that my scientific investigation came in handy this time around as well. Good thing I rushed back there all the way from Europe, Europe, and now I have to leave again. That kind of takes the fire out of a girl, as you can as you can imagine. <laughs> but this is also I can become the core actual forensic scientist, so then I can change my name to Forensic. <laughs> hmm. If anything comes up, I'll sure be give you a call right away. Uh, the second to get the word of a double dash right over. Now you became me. <laughs> imagine her voice becoming like Francis. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> it's me. There's so many fucking characters. <laughs> the greater the father, the greater the expectation of what their children. Prosecutor the best. Was it? A way of life shall be tested henceforth. Just as mine was. Miles Edgeworth chose to live a different life from his father as a prosecutor. I suppose. That too is an answer. That's a little bit of an answer. What's it for karma? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna see the credits for the voices? Yeah, here we are. Hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> go 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 go! Go go go! Simple. Hello, Wolfie. <laughs> what? My old, man. My old man was trying to protect an entire nation, but I swear to all of you that I will carry on his will. Even if the president was a fake, and the real one was murdered, I swear that I, together with my men, shall re revive Zhang Fa. Someday I will surely show you all a Zhang Fa briming with life. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Prozidi! Yeah, there he is! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> Where's the boy? Oh, there he is. Boy. Please. Oh, I'm asking everyone to stop calling me the best. Instead, they call me the, the worst. worst. Call me the worst. <laughs> they call me semi the worst. I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm just borrowing Pops' of power. I probably should come through pretty hard first. I should study even harder than before. Try and pull Pops. I'll become stronger enough so that I won't lose even to Mr. Edward. But you're a prosecutor. Oh, that, that, that's not the point. Oh, my God. The worst. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. I forgot about these guys. <laughs> it's your turn to stay fine. Grog! The cast of America throughout the murder made a movie that talked to the country. A mattress made appears from the many museum. This is the true face of the monster who married the president of Zenfa! Huh? Isn't that you in the photo, Mr. Powers? Hmm. Ah, how could something like this happen? No, no, it's fine, isn't it? It's thanks to those articles that our film is beginning. Ah, it's all coming together. Much obliged. Hey, Peter! <laughs> oh, man. Who's left? Oh, I know who's left. <laughs> Courtney, yeah. it is I, the goddess of law. <laughs> Jean, I greatly enjoyed watching your movie. It, it's no big deal. It's not like I had a major role or anything. <laughs> what are you saying? You played a gay character who connected Mozilla and Gordy. Titans and all. There is no one else besides you could have played Aaron Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, well... It would be nice if there's a sequel. I really enjoy working as an actor. Mom, before we head home, can we go buy something? 
I'd like to decorate our home with a lion lily for Dad. Then, when no one's sac uh, sufficient, you'll have two more, one more for me, and one for Amy. I could not read that fast enough. Uh, thank you for all your support. <laughs> <laughs> this entire game was fan translated. This was all fans making the game. Okay. <gasps> it's or not wait. over. Oh yeah, I forgot about these three. <laughs> how? How could you forget about these three? <laughs> the main you promised three? we'd watch AOT again! Oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna watch the AOT movie, movie with John Marsh! <laughs> well, <laughs> we're really busy with all those cases, weren't we, sir? This all oh, took place in the span of two weeks. We Ten were. cases in two weeks. Hey, I, he comments on it. Why did all these incidents happen in such quick succession? I feel like these things are always busy whenever I'm around. Wait, Gay! Yeah. Wouldn't that mean you're a magnet for crimes? Hey, Gummy, that was rude. I do get the impression that he's not entirely wrong. So then, Kay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Hmm, I don't know. What? Huh? Is something on your mind, pal? How should I put it? Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that I could become a great thief, just like him. Like the previous Otagarasu, I suppose. But watching you, Mr. Edgeworth, made me think. Maybe instead of chasing after my father, I should find my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defense attorney either. Chasing after a parent's shadow is the only path in life for a child, after all. I'm going to aim to be a hero in my own way! That sounds good. But of course, that doesn't mean I'm gonna throw away the name of the great thief Yadagarasu. No matter what sort of hero you become, K will always still be K! And thanks, Gummy! And Gummy will always be Gummy. Of course, Mel! I plan to keep pushing forward on my path of a detective after all! Miss Edgeworth, I look forward to continuing to work for you, sir! Yes, I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective, you saved me many times during these past cases. You have my gratitude. I suggest you look forward to your next salary assessment. <gasps> what?! I think it's a salary! Wait! Does this mean what I think it means? What's wrong? Why does he look angry? <laughs> I'm saying that your salary ought to be raised! Yes! Oh, I'm Finally. saying that your salary ought to be raised. Really, sir? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great, Gummy? It's like a dream come true. I can finally say goodbye to my instant new lifestyle. Ugh. However, that doesn't mean you can start slacking off. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare yourself. Yes, sir. Roger that. I'll devote my body and sword to following after you, Mr. Edward. Oh, Jesus. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> the path Mr. Shield and Judge Courtney taught me is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law and to reach the truth at the end of the road. What am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Certainly, this path will not be easy. However... Prosecutor Edgeworth, when I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best, the goddess of law was not the only one by my side. Ah, it's John! When I have cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of courage while up within. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward like Aaron Yegar. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I literally send us keep moving forward, but okay. Bond. Huh. <gasps> I completely forgot! That was sudden. What's wrong? I 
was searching for members for the new Yadagarasu team. Now that you mention it, I do remember you saying something to that effect. But in the end, I wasn't even able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team combining their powers in order to steal the truth. Oh, gee. I wanted to create an invincible team like that, but... What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? Together, the three of us get so many case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right. A prosecutor, a detective, and a great thief. We're the invincible trio of heroes that steals, captures, and pursues the truth. Hearing all that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. <laughs> as long as the three of us are together, there's nothing to fear. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, you are correct. Then they die. Huh? Uh <laughs> God damn it! I too shall advance along mine. Accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. As long what as they are by mean, my though? side, I can walk <laughs> forward without hesitation. On this new path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys. The path I walk is not my father's. However, I'm, a cer I'm certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in opposite directions, our destination is the same. Why, you may <gasps> ask. Because both paths lead to the one and only truth. Shit. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Two sides of the great. same coin. There we have it. The end of this long ass moment. <sighs> and we'll see you guys never, because this is it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more race attorney. No more race attorney. See you. Bye bye. Clear data. Bye bye.